So I'm going to be trimming this bowl. It's still very soft. You can still see it flexes, but it's no longer tacky to the touch. The bottom is going to be even softer than the top, though, because I still have some clay here that can be trimmed away, so it's thicker. So the first thing I want to do is measure the base of the bowl and the sh bottom shoulder of the bowl to see just how thick it is. So I'm pushing my needle tool through, my fingers on the inside. I go until it just touches and lift it out and that's how thick my base is and then fill those little holes in. And then I want to go through the thickest part because I know I have more clay here than anywhere else on the bowl. So again, my finger is on the inside and I hold and pull out and you can see I have a full inch of clay. So I have a bit to remove from that portion. And again, fill in those little holes because you don't want to make this bowl, test it, trim it, and fire it, and then end up with a little hole in the bottom of your bowl. So I'm going to set it on the wheel, kind of guesstimating that it's centered, but knowing it probably isn't. I can use these rings, but if I didn't throw this bowl absolutely perfectly center and it isn't drying perfectly center, it's going to be slightly off. So it's very important that I center this so that when I go to start trimming, I don't end up with a foot ring off to the side. So I start my wheel, I keep it on low, I'm using a needle tool, I'm moving forward until I just touch the piece. And then I stop and look and see where it has marked. So this one I had pretty close to center. I'm going to move it out of center a little bit more just so you can kind of see the process better. So knowing that it's much further out of center, again, needle tool approaching slowly until I just start making contact with it. And then I hold still. And I stop the wheel head and you can see how it's just marked here, but not around on the other side. So that means that this portion where it's marked was closer to me on the wheel head. So it's sitting too far this direction. So I need to move it away from me. And because it only marked a small area, I know I could move it back about a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm going to do the same thing, wheel going slowly, needle tool approaching, just touching until it does make contact, stop, and then I can see I've got those two lines, or that line, from end to end, I move it directly in front of me, and I push away. And because it wasn't a big difference between the first and second, I know I still have more to push it away from me. So I just keep repeating this process. You do not want to get impatient with this, as if you do not take the time to center your piece before you trim it, you will be unhappy with it falling over possibly or just sitting off center. So that's the little portion that's furthest away from me. I'll push that just a bit because I'm almost all the way around with the mark now. So that means I'm getting really close to being centered. And you'll notice I'm only centering this part. I don't care what's happening down here. If I threw a really wonky bowl and it's bobbling all over the place at the bottom or what will be the top when I turn it over, I don't care. I'm really focused on the base here because that's the part where I need to have a centered foot ring. So same thing. My groove is pretty far around, but still not quite there. So I'm just going to smooth smooth all this out, but move that back a little bit. There we go. So I might have moved it too far even, because sometimes that will happen. You kind of move it back and forth on the wheel. So just a little bit. And again, my clay is super soft. This is about as soft as you ever want it to be with you when you trim. But now it's pretty much touching all the way around. The only place where it isn't is right here. And I know visually that I've actually kind of smushed that back with my finger. So I have the option. I can continue to try to move my bowl just enough so that it's going to touch that spot as well or be satisfied with where it is. And at this point, I am satisfied with where it is. The whole bowl isn't perfectly center, but my foot is centered enough. I'm gonna take a little bit of clay, roll it out into a coil, break it into three pieces. Again, that's super important. I'm gonna move it, put each of those three pieces so I have a triangle shape. Press down towards the wheel head and the bowl. Wheel head and the bowl. And then in the center, I press it straight down so it's well attached to the wheel head. 
and my bowl isn't going to go anywhere. Now I'm going to give myself exactly where I want to put my foot ring. So a little bit of a cheat sheet. I start from above, hold my needle tool just like a pencil, touch down on pretty much the furthest outside where the, it's all consistent, and then I want my foot ring to be about a half an inch thick, or just a little bit less than that. So I put my other line here. And I'm going to be removing this clay and removing this clay. Okay, so I make myself little marks so I remember. The number one mistake that students make is, is they trim out the foot ring itself. So your foot ring or this little donut of clay is what you want to leave because this is what your bowl is going to sit on when it's turned right side up. So I'm going to start by making a little groove right here, removing clay on the inside of that foot ring. And I do this so that I have a place for my left hand to rest so that I can trim away the outside and I can use my hands and my elbows and my body to trim. Because if I just tried to trim, especially if my clay was a little firmer, then if there was some little uneven part, my tool would start bouncing off of it and it would get much worse. So by giving myself a place to hold my finger and to balance myself and hold steady, then I can trim much more effectively. And again, this clay is super soft, so you're going to see it kind of ball up on my tools. And it's okay. And I remember that I have quite a bit of clay that I can remove from the shoulder. So I'm using a small trimming tool right now, but it's really gumming up because of how soft my clay is. So I'm going to switch to this hair tool, which tends to work a little bit better with super soft clay. It's the best tool for super soft or for really large pieces, but it ultimately can be the one tool that you ever use for trimming. So you can do virtually everything with it. So I'm going to trim away, and you can see I'm making my foot ring so I really do have a little vertical area to it that it lifts away from the base of the bowl. And I want that because I want that to be a part of the design and I want that also for the stability that it gives when I set my bowl on the table. So I'm trimming away some clay. And because I can visualize between this top edge that I haven't trimmed and the side of my bowl, I can kind of visualize just how much clay I've removed from when I used that needle tool before. And you could do all kinds of things with your trimming tools. You can leave it so that it goes absolutely smooth and there's really no transition other than the shape itself between the body of the bowl and the foot ring. Or you can make that foot ring really distinctive and stand out. And you can even create like little rings. So you can create design elements with your trimming tools, just kind of depending on how thick and how wet your clay is. But you can leave little rings in if you like. In this case, I'm gonna leave these rings in. But you could smooth them right back out if you didn't like them using that side of the pair of trimming tool and smoothing that out. Now that I've got the outside the shape I want it to be, I'm going to remove this excess clay from the inside. It's dropping through. Again, my clay is super soft, so it's really going to gum up on my tools. But if your clay was a little firmer, it won't do that very much at all or, or at all. Just that little bit that just doesn't want to get out of there. very much depth for the bottom of my bowl so I want to make sure I don't go too deep because it would be kind of sad getting through all of this and in your case waiting a day or at least to trim and then to come in and go right through the bottom so that's why it's really important to measure your piece before you begin trimming and I'm just kind of tidying up at this point everything else is done because my clay is so soft, it tends to kind of push and gum up a little bit on these corners. One thing I don't want to do is leave this this tight and sharp because again, this is going to bisque fire and those edges are going to get even sharper and that won't be very comfortable in your hand when you pick up your bowl and move it. So you can either use a trimming tool and just bevel off that edge just a smidgen or use your sponge, which I've lost. 
Here, my sponge girl. Oh, thank you. And you can use that while your clay is super soft, like this is. And you can smooth everything down. Even with making the little rings here, I don't want there to be little sharp edges. So I can just knock that down with my sponge. But everything's really clean and done. So at this point, before I remove,